Hi, this is Mr. Miller. Welcome back to another uh, video. This one is on position, distance, and displacement. Let's get started. Okay, so as an introduction, this is uh, the first part of the study of kinematics, uh, which is a branch of mechanics. And mechanics uh, is the study of motion of things that we can see. Uh, uh, so kinematics describes the motion of objects but doesn't really talk about what causes the motion. And in particular, we're going to be looking uh, right now at one-dimensional kinematics uh, or one-dimensional motion. Things are moving in a straight line, either up and down, left and right, forward and backward, uh, but not a combination of the two. Now, first off, we need to go through a couple of definitions here. The first one is position. Position is how we describe our location uh, with respect to a reference point. Usually, that reference point is the origin of our coordinate system, or sometimes we say our reference frame or a frame of reference. Uh, that's just a, a way of describing your own personal little Cartesian coordinate uh, grid system. Now, position is something we call a vector. A vector is uh, a quantity that has both magnitude, which is size or amount of something, and a direction. And uh, in our case, with one-dimensional motion, our direction is either going to be uh, positive or negative. And we need to uh, identify uh, our origin and what direction is positive or negative when we set up our problem. So I'm just going to go through a little demonstration on this number line down here. First thing that I need to do is identify my origin and I think this looks pretty good right here. So that's my origin. And I'll use the conventional direction that we're used to which means that to the right is positive and I notate it with a, an arrow with a plus next to it. Next thing I need to do is, with my number line, I need to decide distance between the marks on the number line. So I'll say that one division, one division on the number line is equal to one meter. Okay, now let's say that we have a uh, object that has a position of, a, of positive two meters. So where would that be? Well, I start counting at my origin, zero, and positive would be to the right, so one meter, two meter. So my object is going to be right here, okay, and that's at positive two meters. Now let's say there's another object, and that object happens to be at negative five meters. Its position is negative five meters, so I will go to the left of the origin, five meters. So one, two, three, four, five. So our object is there at negative 5 meters. Okay, next up, distance. In this case, it's the total path length. Distance is a total path length that we travel. Uh, it usually goes along with questions like, how far did you walk? How far did you drive? Um, and unlike position, distance is a scalar quantity, which means that it only has magnitude and direction doesn't matter. Uh, scalars are always going to have uh, positive values. They're, they are never going to have a negative value. Um, and the SI unit of distance is the meter. We will almost always be working with meters or converting our different measurements for length into meters. So let's uh, take a quick example for something that uh, is traveling and we want to know how far it traveled. So first off, I need to identify my origin. So I'm going to pick the middle again. I'm going to identify that as zero. I'm going to pick a direction. I'm going to say the conventional direction to the right is positive. And now I have my little object here. And it is traveling like this. It comes out here and then turns around and stops right there. Starts there, travels out, and then stops. So to find the distance, we just count up the how far it traveled. 
So it went one meter, two meter, three meter, four meter, five meter, six meter, seven meters. So its distance, the distance it traveled, is equal to seven meters. I want to point out that the symbol for distance is x. Sometimes people use d. Uh, we'll use x uh, with the exception of a few example problems. Uh, just be comfortable if you see d that sometimes it's going to mean distance. Now the next quantity that we're going to talk about in this video is displacement. The symbol for displacement is delta x. And that delta is a Greek letter. It means the change in. So displacement is the change in x or I will usually call it the change in position. So it's the change in position. So how far are you from home is most likely a displacement question. It's asking you for the point-to-point -point distance. Displacement is a vector quantity, means it has both magnitude or an amount and a direction. And again, for uh, one-dimensional motion, we are going to use positive and negative. Again, the unit for displacement, the SI unit is the meter. And here's a formula. It's our first formula. Yay! Uh, formula says the change in position or the displacement is equal to the final position minus the initial position. Now let's do a quick example of that going to start out by identifying where my origin is. I'm going to say right here is zero. I'm going to identify the direction that positive is. And I'm going to go with one division equals one meter. So let's say that you're out here at four meters away from home or away from your desk and you need to go back to your desk, which isn't at the origin, but let's say it's over here about six meters to the left of the origin. So your desk is over here. And you wanna end up there. So you're gonna go directly to your desk. So you're gonna go from here all the way down here to your desk and then you're going to sit down at your desk. So what was your displacement? Well, let's identify our points. X initial, our initial position is equal to, let's see, it's one, two, three, four, four meters, positive four meters, and our final position is over here at x final is equal to negative six meters. Now let's find our displacement using the formula. Okay, so I'm gonna write it up here. Delta x is equal to x final minus x initial. So my final position is negative six minus four which is the initial position. And negative six minus four is negative 10 meters. So what does that tell us? Well, it tells us that we moved left 10 meters from our starting position. And that's our displacement. This is a question for you. So answer this question in the Google form that goes along with this video. Uh, it is your multiple choice. Okay, so I already have this set up a little bit. We have two tennis players. They're approaching a net to congratulate one another after a game. And we want to find the distance and the displacement for player A. And then we're going to do that again for player B. So as I've explained, the first thing that we need to do is identify our origin. I picked the net. We didn't have to pick the net. We could have picked where player A is. We could have picked where player B is. We could have picked the end line. We could have picked totally different place. We just have to agree to it and use it consistently throughout the problem. 
So let's go ahead with uh, using the net as the origin. Okay, to find the distance that player A travels, we just need to know the path length. Player A is going to go from negative 5 meters to 0 meters. Player A travels 5 meters. We're not interested in a direction, just the distance. Okay, I identified player A's position at the beginning as negative 5 meters. And uh, player A, the change in position of player A is from x final minus x initial. And that would be equal to x final is 0 minus his initial location, which is negative 5. Very important that you keep track of your signs. So 0 minus a negative 5 is equal to 5 meters. The displacement of player A to go to the net is 5 meters. Let's go ahead and do this for player B. Well, player B has an initial position of 2 meters. 2 meters. And for player A to travel to the net to shake hands, the distance traveled is going to be equal to 2 meters. Okay, now if I want to find the displacement for player B, I would take the final location for B, final position of B, minus the initial position of B. And that would be final position is 0, initial position is 2, and that gives us a displacement of negative 2 meters. It says that player B uh, ended up negative 2 meters from where they started. Here's your free response question. Go ahead and feel free to rewind if you need that. And we'll see you next class. Bye.